Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. We want to ask, what do you wish you'd have said on last week's show, but you didn't? Chris Fitzsimon, we'll start with you. Well, one of the things we talked about, the, uh, the surplus and how it's going to be spent, um, I didn't get to say Governor McCrory has already sort of indicated several things he wants to do with it, some of it in savings, as we talked about. Another one would be to restore the deduction for medical expenses that a lot of people, including seniors, uh, were unhappy about. And another thing was the historic tax credit, which he's been going around the state campaigning for. Uh, Speaker Moore said he was uh, inclined to do both of those things, and uh, Senator Berger, Senate President Pro Tem Berger's response was, well, we'll take a look at that. Uh, so I think we still, we, you ask on the show uh, how, how easy it's going to be to get a budget together. If Governor McCrory and Speaker Moore are adamant about those things, uh, we could be here a long time because I don't think Senator Berger has any indication of restoring the tax credit and maybe not restoring the medical deduction. Right. Senator Lee, what do you think you uh, wish you'd have said on last week's show, but you did? Well, I have been growing concern about uh, the attack on our law enforcement officers. And I was very disturbed uh, this week when a police officer was shot in the head in, in New York. I think the public is remaining too silent on the fact that people are attacking and declaring war on police force. And we need to recognize we have some really dedicated public servants who wear that uniform and they protect us. And we have an obligation to stand up and protect and defend our police force and uh, the integrity of the police uh, enforcement. Interesting. Becky, what do you wish you'd have said on last week's show? When we were talking about the $400 million surplus and how these things are going, one thing that, that we didn't talk about is the tax cuts in place. And what this $400 million surplus and additional forecasting of additional money will will put in place that trigger for additional reduction in the corporate tax rate. So what we anticipate, what the Fiscal Research Division at the General Assembly that's looked at this have said just this week is that that should go into effect. So we we will see an automatic tax cut of that corporate rate down going to down to 4%. And the goal is to get it down to 3 So we're on track to, to see that through. Well, and, and another discussion we'll have at another day is what implications that might have on the budget that starts uh, beginning July 1. And if this last budget cycle is any indication, it will increase revenue even more and continue to stimulate North Carolina's economy. John, what do you wish you'd have said? Well, speaking of the surplus and the budget issues, one of the strangest directions of our tax debate has been people upset with the decline in tax refunds. Now, everyone by this time who has ever paid taxes should know that when you get a refund, that is bad news. That means you have given the government an interest-free loan. You have overpaid your taxes. Now, a lot of times we can't help it, and then we get a refund. We certainly don't want to have to pay more money. I'm not saying that either. Really, you're, at the end of the year, your taxes ought to roughly even out. You ought not to write a big check to the government, but you also not get a big check from the government. That means you should have been keeping more money all along. What North Carolina has done is changed the policy so you get to keep your own money throughout the year. That means when you get to April, and you fill out your state tax return and there's a basically a zero, that's good. That's on purpose. That's, that means you got to keep your money all year long. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.